Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Y'all already Me. know what it is, man. Texans on three. Texans on three. Texans on three, man. Back for another show this week, man. We told you we're going to be out every Tuesday, every Thursday. Man, appreciate everybody that's been tapping in, man. We're doing our best. We're trying to make this show one of the best experiences, best Texans experiences that you're going to want to be a part of. Make sure you like and subscribe, man, and join the community, man, because I'm talking about, man, uh, it's about to be something big every time. Y'all know what it is. I ain't going to keep running my mouth. Let's get to the other host. I'm going to introduce myself first. I am Frankenstein, a.k.a. Nitty, because I know y'all keep hearing them call me Nitty. But uh, <laughs> a.k.a. <laughs> Nitty, man, and uh, I'm in the building, man, and uh, with my co-host. Yes, sir, co-host Ship, Champagne Ship, to be exact. We back at it. Texans on three. I got my boy Nitty and I got my boy Patton. Salute. Hey, man. It's your boy P-A-T, a.k.a. The Streets. You know what I'm saying? Part of the one of the greatest podcasts ever formed in the Texans community. Shout out to my boy Nitty, a.k.a. Yes, the best producer in Houston. Shout out to my boy Chef Simbagi was on. You know what I'm saying? And Already. Nitty. Hey, man, y'all already know what it is, man. It has been a dope week in Texans land. Uh, we've been having all kind of stuff going on. If y'all tuned in the last show, we was doing a lot about the draft. Uh, we're going to actually kick back into that too because there's so much stuff to talk about on that. But first thing we're going to start the show off with, I'm pretty sure if y'all looked at the title, y'all done seen uh, New Jersey Draft. Um, yeah. It's kind of dope. If y'all know, if y'all go back with the with the old movie, uh, the New Jersey Drive, y'all know what kind of way we got that from. But anyway, uh, we're going to talk about these New Jerseys, man. And um, first and foremost, I'm going to say this. I like them. Um, I never knew that I would miss the old jerseys. I, I don't know if I'm going to be the first fan to kind of admit that, that it, mm. it does feel weird. Like I always, man, I've been wanting to move on from these motherfuckers for the longest. Believe me, <laughs> it just feel weird now that we actually are. It it's like be. now I just want to make sure that they still that that we still gonna rock them sometime. You know what I'm saying? Like like Probates. those 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 are those they 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 ours. They they yeah. they are history. They they don't they don't grew on me. <laughs> like yeah. I, said, I used to think they were the most boring uniform. But at the end of the day, they were ours. They that that uniform Tradition. represents now. And I gotta say this. I gotta say this. It's prestige now. It, it represents now all of the hard times we went through, y'all. Yeah. Like, like when we look at them jerseys now, they gonna mean something, bro. It should hit you in the heart. Like, it, like <laughs> there's a lot of suffering. Mm -hmm. A lot of suffering, bro, went through with those jerseys, man, and 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 watching those jerseys and it's it's watching them go up against some of the most legendary jerseys in the league mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying like i will watch our team go up against certain teams and i'll be jealous i'll be like yeah i i would i would uniform look like we just got in the league you know what i'm saying yeah they got the throwbacks <laughs> our logo is dope the logo has always been dope i'm gonna tell you that mm -hmm. but that jersey man I ain't gonna lie that was the most that was the most <laughs> Ned Reggie. <laughs> I'm talking about man, that thing like the jersey that you get, um, like like the starters. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> like they, they, that's the like the church team or something. Like, God it damn, just, it just looked like the jersey that everybody get. Like everybody. the generic shoes on 2K it, when you first. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just look totally generic. And it's like yeah, now we're about to move into something. As a matter of fact, let me bring that up right quick. Let's let's bring, bring them up, Nitty. Pull them up. Okay, let's share this screen over here. Okay, so here we go. Boom. Okay. Now we know, Shep, that you don't like the H Town Blue. Y'all, we don't uh, we don't understand why he does, but hold on, let's give a shout out. To uh, AO Texan Nation, uh, oh, you using your post right now. Uh, yeah, and uh, one thing I'm gonna say is that I'm proud of this right here. First and foremost, because I understand what it was like to be a Houston Oilers fan, and I love the Oilers. Let's let's get that understood. When the Oilers was in Houston, I loved the Oilers. Why? Because that's all I knew. That 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 color, that that. You know, the Houston all the song, the love you blue. Mm -hmm. That's all we knew. And you know, when when we lost that game to Buffalo, 
I, I, I instantly like became like everybody else. Like, oh, these niggas is sorry in the mud. But I do remember the team of having Jeffries out there, mm-hmm. uh, Ernest Givens, uh, um, can't think of the running back right now, but his number was forty something. Spencer, Spencer, Spencer Tillman. I remember Spencer. I think it was forty one, if I'm not mistaken. But mm-hmm. uh, Spencer Tillman. Um, man, like I say, we it, it, those were some good times. But I remember when they left, mm-hmm. and like I say, you know, we got to Texas, and it's you know, it's it's perfect that we talk about the uniforms, like. You know, one thing that the Houston Oilers was known for all over the league is having a top-notch uniform. That uniform is iconic in the field, pun intended. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's iconic, bro. It's iconic. Like, just the color. It's it's something about that color. And that color, whether the Titans fans understand it or not, that color represented us. It represented Houston. It was a Houston thing. It is. It was bigger than the team. It was. It became like Houston color. Like our police cars. Um, a lot of things was that color down here in Houston. It represented Houston. And when that happened, and, and like I say, we got these new jerseys back. So me is in my heart. I feel like I'm getting the best of both worlds. I'm getting. I'm, I'm. First of all, I, I we got our team back, which we had them back since 2002. But not only do we have our team, but we have a a new H Town blue. It's not even. I would say that it's better. It looks better than the Titans blue. You know what I'm saying? It's a. It's something about it that's making it H Town blue. It's making it H Town's own thing, right? And not only that, then I'm gonna give y'all the flow. I love the way they put them horns on the shoulder pads. Because, mm-hmm. you know, whenever you talk about Texas or anything, one of our biggest, like, slogans is, you know, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Exactly. Yeah. And they put them horns <clears throat> in the right place. It's on the yeah. shoulders. Some boys about to be getting popped. Pause. We going to pause. Bro. <laughs> Some no boys about to be getting the horns, bro. They, and they put them right in the perfect place, especially and 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 especially now that we have to deal with the fact that tackling is going to be different in the NFL now. Oh God, there's going to be a lot of popping going on, bro. A Maybe. lot of it. Like you literally going to have to knock somebody off their feet now. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. And we'll go, we, and we'll talk about that a little bit later too because I know y'all play football and I want to ask y'all exactly how these dudes yeah. start tackling these dudes now. Exactly. So we, we, Remind me before the show over with that we talk about that. But back to the jerseys, man. What do what, what do y'all think? Who you want to you want to go first, Pat? or you want me to go, man? Look, I love them, man. I know, I, I know you have the fan of the color. You want to get rid of it. You need to ch- uh, check it too. I just sent you some uh, referencing to these uh, jerseys we got now. But uh, dude, it's time for a, a fresh breath of air with us, bro. Like, I just hope they don't mess them up. And this, and only this, this is a concept right here. But if this was a jersey we roll out week one, I'm happy with it. Like for real. One thing I, I would say, because the league just dropped today, that every team can get a third helmet. And I know with us, one had a blue, we got the red, and they want to give us the actual very first couple was all white. I'm not really sold on the all white, personally. What? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sold on the all the whole. All white. That's nasty right there. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I, 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 can get, I can get on board with this. Yeah, no, that, I ain't going to lie. That that's looks nasty. like a professional NFL team right there. Yeah, that's nasty right there. It's 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 up there. It's like it's – it's. Just it's let me know like when I got the flow, pad. It looks like flow. a real team, bro. No, you, you, you can go ahead. Yeah. Oh, it's my – well, first of all, we going back to the one with Stingley on it, bro. That powder blue, that Houston blue, let's just take it out back. Let's take it to the pasture and shoot it in the head, bro. That's over with, bro. This is a new team. This is new times. This is a new Houston. This is a new style. We done been here 20 years now, almost, what, 22 years now. The Oilers won't. 
the Oilers don't want to give us their color, don't want to give us that the jersey style back. So you know what? Let's just bury it all away, shoot it in the head, bury it six feet, and don't ever bring it back up. I got look, I got the Oilers tatted on me, bro. It's in my skin. What? It's in my skin. And I still feel the same way, Nitty. I still feel how I feel. You in high school, right, Shep? Yeah. You never wanted that Warren Moon jersey, bro? Bro, I had the Oiler starter pull over. That's, That's my first saying. ever pull. So, you so listen, it, when did the – okay, it, listen, I'm going to tell, tell you this. I was born in 1988. They left in what, 97? Yep. I was nine years old, bro. I didn't give a damn about this shit really like that. <laughs> I used to think – I used to love to start a pullover and everything like that, but man, I'm a true. See, I I was young when the Oilers were here, so I wasn't just into it like that. I'm a true Houston Texan just because of my age and how everything was, bro. I am a true Houston Texan, and in uh, 02, I was in like the sixth grade. I never forget that boy Miller caught the pass and stretched out and scored. That made me a Houston Texan. I didn't care about that powder blue anymore, bro. So that's why that's how I feel about that powder blue. We don't need that no more, bro. Let's go be lays on trail. I understand how you feel about the team. But I always, and I could be wrong, but I always felt like Houston always still loved that color, though. Like, like we still like even like you even gotta look at it, right? When um when we drafted uh, Deshaun Watson, right? One of the things he did when he got to Houston was rock that Warren Moon jersey. He did. You know what I'm saying? I think it was he at did. one of his press conferences or whatever, he had that Warren Moon jersey on. And I really appreciated seeing him in that jersey, not only because it looked good and it's iconic, but it just let him, I mean, it let me know that he was in tune to the city of where he to was the going. the history, yes. Yeah, and it's like, respect that, bro. Like, if you respect that, then we gonna respect you. But at the same time, I still find it weird, bro, that that if you didn't, okay, boom, here you go, right here. This is the question I got for you, Chef. If you didn't really care about the Houston uh, all us like that, then why does the color of balls? Oh, okay. I think I get it. You you kind of think that sometimes, like we still hold it on. Like we this still shit. like longing for the Houston Oilers. No, I think it's I think it's the nostalgia of we won't see what I think every real like Houston player. I mean Houston sp- football fan probably would have wanted to happen, and I I I, I probably would agree with this too. And that was that if the Houston Texans, if the Houston Texans would have came to Houston, right, and and Bob McNair would have said, "Well, I'm gonna buy that name and the, uh, the likeness and everything," and we still got the Houston Oilers right now, would you be upset about that? No, I wouldn't be upset about that because we would be the Oilers. But this is what I'm on. Since the Titans have it, they don't want to give it back to us. We steady going back and forth. Oh man, this blue. We had the Columbia blue. We. St- Hey, you know what? Y'all keep that motherfucking y'all. So, excuse my language. Y'all keep that jersey, bro, and shove it up the backside. You feel me? Because we <laughs> we on we on some new teams, and we in y'all division. And if y'all every time y'all wear them jerseys against us, we gonna blow y'all out, bro. I know That's how I feel yeah, about I feel that. Like so keep them jerseys. Wear them. Go ahead and wear them. Wear them. Wear them every time we play y'all. I don't even care. That just don't make us don't drive think, y'all harder, bro. Don't think this is a slap in the face to them, though. It, it, that's why I said keep them. Just no, like I, I am. This is a slap in the, I was, us doing the H-Town Blue is a slap in the face to them. To, no, to, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just because of the simple fact, Carolina got that blue. So, you know, they could get mixed up with the Carolina blue. Let's just keep paving our own way, man. They Steel are blue. You do know the real. Liberty reason. white, battle red. Let's rock. We do have to put this out on our show, though, for real, for real. We do, especially me, I feel like I know the real reason why this came about. Let's talk about that. And and I think the real reason that, that this even came about is because a, a changing of the way that the Houston, Texas organization works. And what that is is that I think for years, fans have been talking about this H-Town Blue thing. 
for years, mm-hmm. bro, since the Texans got here. What's the difference is now the Texans is actually listening. So let me tell you what the P I'm gonna tell you what the PR stance of this this jersey uh this H Town Blue is. It's really, and this is why I find it hard to be upset about it, right? Because it's the Texans saying that it's the Texans really listening to their fans, bro. It's the Texans like knowing that they in the last two years, three years, that it's been like they almost lost the whole fucking city, bro. They almost literally I never seen a team for real, other than like with the Oilers, lose a city. And mm-hmm. we're listening that we almost watched the Texans do that, bro. We almost watched them lose the city, bro. People wasn't finna go to no more games. And they was it was hitting them in the pockets. And I really do think that Cal said, like that time when he got down off of that monster truck and he threw that H-Town up. <laughs> right during that moment, Cal was saying to himself, man, I got to, I got to get back into I got to get I got to get his team to the city, man. I got to mm-hmm. I got to get this to the city. This can't seem like we are a team that's in the city. No. We need to we need to bring the city in, get them more involved like and that's what they did. They really got the they got the city more involved. They went and started getting more into the community and I think this H Town Blue thing is a like I, for years. Like even though it looked like it's been like it's coming up now They've been hearing that for years, and I think that they thought that that was the one, even though it's many other things they're going to do. But I think that they thinking that this one thing of making the jersey H-Town blue like that is going to really blow the city out of the water, bro. I'm telling you. They really looking at it like that. They like this is going to be something that's going to not only make Texas fans that's already been down, but those other all the fans that've been like, nah, I can't root for nothing but that, but that all the because you know it's a bunch of Tennessee Titan fans in Houston. Still, simply because of that, bro. They loyal. Hey. I, ain't, nah, I can't even hey. they they move there to Tennessee. I was just about to say, let them die off, bro. Hey, move to remember, Tennessee, bro. Hey, y'all don't remember back when they first left, right? And I used to have homeboys who play Madden all the time, right? And a lot, I had a, this one homeboy. He he, year in and year out, he was running with the Titans simply because he said in his heart that is Steve, <laughs> the Houston Oilers, and he, he was right. He Only was time right. I played with the Titans so Madden was when they had Vince Young. That's it. Man, that Vince Young. Man, I, I look, y'all. I just I just want to start. Mario Williams, man, who we was supposed to get? Who? I yeah, with Vince Young. Young Mario Williams. I say, who is we yeah. supposed to get? Uh, I throw a wrench no. out there. I say Reggie Bush. Nah, hell nah. We supposed to get V Young. You know, all of them was in a draft together, though. Yeah, yeah, I know it. We supposed to I get remember, V Young for sure. I remember this. I felt so bad, bro, hearing and knowing that we had the number one draft pick, knowing that BY was from Houston. And had just won the national championship, bro. Oh they, man! They literally said this like before the draft even started. They was like, "He's automatically not on the Texas radar." And I'm like, what? "That's crazy. That was so crazy." They don't on our radar at all, and it's like they really ignored, dude. That's why they did. That he game came down here and bust our ass overtime. Overtime. Don't make me find it. I'll find Skip it. on Mario Williams, bro. Mario just. <laughs> Man, that be fifty yards for the game winner, bro. That's another one of those Texas moments that hurt, bro. Yeah, that, that was. Hurt. But yeah, but let me tell you why it didn't hurt that bad though, Needy, because he's from the south side of the A. Yeah, yeah. Yep. it was really like a aha nigga. And yep, you really it was like yep. was on VY side. You like I? Yeah, I was on. I was on VY side just simply because he's from the hood. He's from the H, bro. That was. There's no way we supposed to let him fall through the crash. No, no way. way in the world. And I think I his career would have turned out different, too. Now, look, I'm yeah. Lidge, man, and say, but Bob, Bob was kind of racist, bro. He didn't want no black quarterback. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Yeah. That's what made them say that he was right. automatically out of our ruling. Now, now, they didn't say that because, you know, they didn't actually say front page because he was racist. But we knew I, that shit, man. It's, it's, I just, mm. you oh, got to think about it, too. Like, like how can you how can you so so right now because I, I I definitely want to make sure that we get this clear because I mean I don't look at the Texans as being a racist organization. 
I never did. Man. I never did. Like you had never I never did really. You actually did look at them as being racist. No. The dad I just thought that they didn't want no hard heads. That's that's one thing I will say. They wanted choir boys. They yeah. wanted they wanted certain type of guys at first. And I'm gonna and, tell you this, man. Look, if you get if you draft Vince Young, you risk the chance of yeah, he's home, he may produce, right? We had Kubiak, great and, and in that offense, play action rollout would have been marvelous. But you go defense because look who's in our division at that time, Peyton Manning. You got to stop him. We've always drafted defense based off who was in our division. Our division as a whole is always drafted on who else and what they got in our division. Period. That's how the, that's how the NFL works, not just yeah. the Texans. Yeah, really, man. If you look at what the AFC South did, bro, they are gearing up for one team and one team only, mm. and that's us. Yeah, yeah. that's so, us. I hear, I hear what you're saying, though, bro, but. Good. Uh, like I hear what you're saying, but a a a a a steal like that that should look good. What was that? No pick two. Can't let that guy. You can't let that guy slip through from Houston. The the the, the notation was he was gonna be in the streets doing a bunch of crazy shit and it wasn't gonna work out. Man, keep a it's mentor easy. with him. Ain't that ain't that what's the name like? I, I used to think that that was too. I don't know if they brainwashed me into believing that too, but. It kind of made sense. Logically, it did make sense. It was like, okay, why would you pick a player to be from a town where they from? It seems like, you know, they most susceptible to going out and kick it with their homeboys or get into some kind of mess that's in the hood with family. Mm -hmm. I mean, your cousin was over here, got into it with these, man. You got to go over here. But, you got to back down with your cousin. But it's check this out, Nitty and Pat. No, on the flip side. You can have somebody that's willing to die behind this shit, man. He's going to play hard for the city, man. He's yeah. going to win that's for the city, side. man. But 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 both sides ain't even, though, Shep. One of them is a bigger risk than the other. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is. One of them is. is a, right, now, we hope that he would be like, man, I want to, like, like, right now. We got we got that example going on right now on the team, right now. And I think this is a good example. And that's oh. Daniel Hunter. I think Daniel Hunter is finna play like a like a, a gorilla untamed for the simple fact that he back home. Yeah. He been playing in Minnesota, bro. He said his people, his people ain't seen him play in person. <laughs> oh yeah, since he been in Katy, right? Yeah. So then we switch we switch him off from the jersey going to the draft, or we still working with the jerseys a little bit. Um no uh, uh, no 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 is it, if it's anything yeah, hold on let me see let me see what else did the boy man. because I was I was just gonna say just going back to those jerseys though and everything y'all hey man oh, so don't y'all we gotta talk about this right here okay so this got something to do bro this got something to do yeah. with the jerseys oh this is yeah the fact that they are now adding they gonna add that third color and everybody mm -hmm. everybody all over Texas Twitter is saying that. We gotta automatically go with the white helmet that we've been Absolutely. seeing all these years that Absolutely. we never got. That was actually the first uh, helmet that Bob showed us. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he said that we got the white one. We never seen that helmet, so I yeah. think that yeah, we need to go and get that white helmet and let it get stuck. It, but I mean, if, we, if we get it, we get it. Cool. Oh, so let us see. Hmm? You, Patton, what color would you rather see for that third helmet? Uh. Any other than the white one? What? I what? Know the of, it just it just looks too bland to me. No. Let me tell you what, bro. Let me and this and this this was this was this was this was even <laughs> looking at this was even gonna be better. Why we shouldn't get that uh all the blue back? We don't have all the blue in none of these helmets, bro. The third, with, color, the third helmet should be that color. No, but the red, oh the red, will be the, the red is gonna be the what's the name to go with the uh? Oh uh, my no no! Let's just keep that Liberty white. Look, we can go white on white with that Liberty white, or we can go white Liberty white with the red helmet. That'll be that'll be sick. But I ain't gonna lie, if they put that jersey on right, that that eight <laughs> blue with that white helmet. The, with with uh, but it'll have to have red trimming though. You right. see where the blue is? They have, they have to freak it out, man. Uh, the, mask, the, mask, the face mask and everything. I have to be red, but that will I be think that'll be too hard. I think it'll be too hard to kind of match though. 
I'm no, see, look, I'm... this design, I'm going to tell you this. This is what you got to automatically understand about this design, and I'm going to go back to it just so we can see this specifically. Okay, now, you got to realize something, that the only time they're going to change that blue in the helmet is when they got this, what's the name on, right? When they got this H time blue. So I'm thinking that it's gonna be this right here. I ain't gonna, I know, uh, I think D Texan probably did this, even though somebody else posted it. But, uh, um, yeah, that he always doing nice ass graphics. Yeah, D Texan uh, nasty. I think that if they go with this, I, I, I sign off on this one right here because, I mean, it's it just look dope with the red accents, you know the red helmet with those red accents is dope. That's it's not that. winning me over. It's not winning me over, bro. It's not. Maybe I would have to see Diggs or somebody in it, or just so that singly. It looked very plain and it looked very so XFL ish. What you looking forward to seeing this win? That's yeah, that's like nasty the right there. The different variations of this, right? Because you know they're gonna have yeah. a. A, a, a dark yeah and uh, when it's dark what color y'all think the numbers are gonna be white red and they're still blue like how they got it right there it just depends on whichever the jersey if the if the jersey's white the number should be red if the jersey's blue the number should be white and when they white they the number should be blue like how it is man i ain't gonna lie that's that that looks dope yeah, that look. It, they didn't grow on me at first. I thought they was mid, then, but like I say, when I seen Diggs, I was like, "Oh no, nah, them D boy kind of clean." You know what kind of threw me for a loop too, though? I'm not gonna lie. You see right here where I'm pointing at, in that horn on the shoulder. At yeah. first, right here where I'm pointing at, right here. Yeah. yeah. See right here, that at first you couldn't see that it was red right there. And see, in this looking I, solid I, I right here, H -town on it. this looking like a solid blue right here. That shit, I ain't gonna lie. That that was giving um um nineteen eighties uh Rams, St. Louis Rams. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was giving the Rams a little bit, and I was like, uh no, I don't want to. I don't want that. But once I seen that it had that red in it, like when she was able to see um Diggs, how Diggs is. With that red right yeah. there, yeah. that yeah. made it better. I was like, "Oh, now that's fly. That shit fly." Yeah. But and then the pants with the red trim on the side too is nasty. Red trim on the side, man. And I ain't gonna lie, he, the fact that we got Diggs up here right now, man, Diggs been working his ass off. And that promo video that they put out today, yeah. was super dope. Where he was like, "Oh, I'm in Houston, Texas. Oh, that that's sounds right. good." I was like, yeah, and they trying to make it sound like he he don't sound like he want to be here. Like, okay, yeah, right. Hey, I just pray eat, man. Hey, 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 hey said boy, the picture you just had with Tank and uh, Nico, we've been seeing a lot of workouts with Tank, Diggs, and uh, Mechie, but we ain't never seen Nico. Hey, we're going to come back to this picture because I said you said something about it. You I just want, just want to mention it, man. Yeah, so how do you feel about that though? How do you feel about that ship when you see stuff like this? When you see what that is? over there in Tennessee, they actually putting see this is what you don't realize. The Tennessee why, wearing those all those uniforms, is. they could have chose to play any team they wanted to play with those uniforms. It's you know that, right? Exactly. exactly. And that's they why I'm sending y'all when I to put it in our face. So now no, let's take break. it back. Take no, it back. no, 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 no. Let's keep throwing it in their face. But, yeah, keep doing all this. Like, do that. Go ahead and do whatever. H-E-B, foods, do whatever. Let 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 them wear hats, bring up, bum fillers, do all that. And like I say, every time we play y'all, put the jerseys on. I don't care. I just want to oh, – every time so y'all do that, I want to smack the – oh, smack oh, y'all. I get it now. They trying to say that, okay, when Bomb was wearing it down here in Houston, that's H-E-B. H-E-B. Like, when what's the name did it? Uh, v Vrabel being fake about it, he food time. Food time, <laughs> exactly. We get, I get, I, that's what I thought too. But, no, but man, you, I get it. Okay, so food yeah. time, yeah, food time is yeah, yeah, yeah. Food time, one of those. If for y'all that that may not be down here in Houston, uh, food time, one of them stores where you would have th you'd think it's better than H E B because the prices are more expensive. <laughs> 
I get a, I get a store that's worse than another store have more better. I mean, more expensive prices. And Didn't it I, seem like food time was booming at one point in time? Man, they be price gouging. That's what it is. It's that that yeah. they know that if they move in the neighborhoods where it's like food deserts and people not don't got really access yeah. to groceries like that, mm-hmm. and they just price gouge your ass somewhere like H E B. You know they gonna uh, be in the area where everybody can go and get to them. No disrespect when I say this, but food town like Chubby Bell. <laughs> Hold up, man. I don't know. T- I don't know who Chubby is. But hey, Chubby, we gonna have to bring you on this show. We got a couple of questions for you, man. We we ain't gonna tell you what these questions is, but we are opening up an invite for you, my brother. So hey, you can shout out to him, one you know our You can jump in either one of our DMs just to let us know that you are conscious and that you are willing to come on the show. But yeah, we definitely willing to have you come on the show, man. We got a couple of questions to ask you about a few things. So, yeah, you know, you can come out to the Twitter, man. Y'all want to get on the draft? Oh, uh, now nah, it's on y'all now. Y'all want to do the draft? I got the picture. We can right go there. to the yeah, if most definitely. If you want to send to me that I can put up here, just let me know. Uh, yeah, I'm about to say, Pat. Now I know you the draft guy. You you are wing guy when it comes to the draft, man. You can go ahead and kick it out. For real. Draft guard. Draft guard. <laughs> Hold on, right quick. I'm gonna find you. Why you doing it? So Watch look, this. Right now, we got we got nine picks for this draft. I'm more so focused on the first five, mm-hmm. uh, two second rounds, one third round, two fourth rounds. Uh, one of the second, our first pick in the second round is a 42. That's from Minnesota. With the you it up, Nitty. Uh, the second, our second pick in the second round is a 59th pick, and the third is from a uh, Philadelphia 86. The fourth rounds, the last pick in the Deshaun trade, 123, and the other fourth round is our own, 127. So uh, I know I know Chef is high on safety. You know what I'm saying? We, we was going back and forth debating on that. But the more and more I look into the draft with that pick, either we go linebacker or safety. Now, I do feel like if we go safety, that's going to, that's going to push either Petrie or Ward to the slot. <laughs> Both guys are good in the box. But whoever we get in safety might have to be a ball hole. My guy I lied before was Kitchens from the U. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if not, go get my boy Adrian Cooper for the defense. I've been hearing him tied a lot to us. Um, yeah. What about him? What's, what, is, is he? Have you even heard of the, the phrase sideline to sideline linebacker? Yes. yes. He, he's one of those guys. Now, the only thing is about, excuse me, when drafting a linebacker in the past six, five to six years, there's always been a hit or miss. Some of the best linebackers in the league now have been low, like mid round or low round picks, because of the simple fact that the average linebacker can't cover. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The game is a passing game now. Back then, you used to have run, the linebackers would go high because they can stop the run. Stop yeah. the run is not a linebacker's job anymore. It's more so for the interior defensive line. You know, you have to have a good linebacker that can blitz. And, you know, thankfully, we got a guy that can blitz and cover. With uh Harris County and El Algier, Shire. Yeah, Shire is I am noticing one thing about Shire too, his speed. Like yeah. he he's also sideline sideline. Sideline. <laughs> yeah. so like, like, that's you know, that's what they described D'Amico as when we first got him. That was my first yeah. time ever hearing that phrase. Mm-hmm. Ever. When we got D'Amico, yeah. they said he's a sideline to side line linebacker. And I've been judging he don't, he don't take plays off. Off. Shire was, got that number zero too. I want to see how that look going there, running here where. That's gonna be something serious. He had zero um, out there in uh, Tennessee too, right? Yeah, no. He did. Uh, he number did. two. We were just wondering. Who was number two? Oh, he was number two. So yeah. somewhere, I don't know. What I, I don't know because they was calling him Agent Zero, and I'm thinking like maybe he had that name already before, but they naming him that now. Maybe just because he got that's zero. He got game. number zero. Yeah, yeah, but that's what they've been calling him. But um, I thought it was actually before, like, you know, a name that followed him. I didn't know it was something no, like, no. you know. So, no, nah, but, so, uh, yeah, bro, so linebacker, like, since we're speaking on the defense, right? That's what the first um, pick is going on, defense. Yeah, so the and, 44 and, and, pick is defense, you said. I, I feel like it should be show. Yeah, I think I, I said it last show. I think it has to be. Like, I, I think it should definitely be defense. Right it definitely should be defense. And it definitely should be a. I'm I'm rooting for safety. To be honest, if I had if you put yeah. a gun, you put a gun in my head right now. I'm saying safety. Right. You know what I'm saying. Um, I would if if 
corner two. You know what I'm saying? DB. There we go. Let's just say that. DB, DB period, yeah. You know, DB, first pick, second round. I'm not upset at all. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that's maybe one of, like I say, we don't we we don't got too many holes, y'all, and that's crazy to actually be saying this, but um, Stacked. definitely want to see, man. One of, if if I had to say, man, one of my biggest wish, 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 wish for this season, bro, um, bigger than you know seeing CJ take another big gigantic step because I ain't worried about CJ, but what I am kind of worried about is the health of um. Derek Stingley. Um, I'm so I'm so in love with his game, um, and how he plays and how good he is because he's actually. I mean, when he's healthy, he's like he's 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 unbelievable how on how good he is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think us as the Texans sometimes. I mean, it's Texas fans actually sit back and realize how lucky we are to have him and how hard it is to have a um shut down a, a shutdown corner in this league. And it's almost to a point where and that, that means we got to be in a good spot when you think about this. Yeah. That you could be thinking about how good the team is and you because remember remember when we had uh um when we had shut down corners they would be like the whole focus of the defense. Like that's the focus. Like, oh, we got this player. That's the that's the best play on our defense. Uh like Jonathan Joseph or whatever, right? Dante but, Robinson. Yeah, Dante Robinson. But it's like now you see where it's like, bro, we got these stars everywhere to where like Stingley is one of the best players on our team, but he's it's it's man, we got so many faces. We got a lot of good faces out there, but just to stick on Stingley. Man, if he can stay healthy this year, bro, that's all pro. That's um first that's, team defense. Yeah, yeah. That's that that's first pro team ball. all pro. Um he's definitely um, I mean, that's pro bowl automatically. But bro, this year. I just want to see him stay healthy and like he he makes me he makes me dive deep in the um, in pause. He makes me dive deep into science. Yeah. Because I'd be just trying to figure out, like, what would Maybe I, do? You, what, would, what would I do if I was Derek Stingley? Like, if I understood, bring in, if I understood that my soft tissue issue is uh is is an issue, then how do you stay? How do you ensure yourself to make sure that you don't get hurt? I say like Pilates and yoga, and like mm -hmm. like like. Well, uh, reps on the weights. Just do light reps, though. Just do a lot of reps, but do light reps and do a lot of Pilates and yoga. Say, what y'all think, and... think happened last year when they say he got hurt on the last play of practice? Like, his, uh, he tore his hamstring and was out for like five games in a row on the last play. It's like he like reached out for something and tore his hamstring, and I'm like, what? You think he totally pulled it? Yeah, yeah pulled, pulled it. Uh, I'm it's saying overworking. Cool, I'm gonna say it's overworking because he want to be such an athlete. Because he, like you said, Nitty, and people weren't bringing that up, Nitty, until you just brought it up and you turned the light switch on in my head when you brought that up. It's his health, bro. I forgot he didn't miss a lot of games, bro. That that yeah. you just made me think of that. I'm like, damn, Stingley has missed a couple of games, bro. And I wasn't thinking about this until Nitty brought it up. A couple, bro. He didn't. He didn't he's, miss like yeah, he didn't miss some games, bro. He's going to nah, for real, he's yeah, for real. Double digit. Nah, this game. is gonna be his third year, right? Damn, nigga, you just whoa. Yeah, you this just would be his third year. Up, bro. Last year was the second year. Should that could, should that could, man, nigga, I think you just brought up a new concern for me, bro. Yeah, bro. I didn't mean to do that, and I'm not trying to do that to Texas. Damn, yeah, I you just think about it. Like I said, the team's so good, we don't even sit back and think about yeah. it. Yeah, but. We have to think about the fact that Steve oh, done a miss an average of six games every year that he's been on the Texans. And he's yeah. only been with us two years. Hey That's now, I'll be crazy. honest, man. I was on the I was on the uh, on the train of going with Sauce. You know, my I, I don't want to be the team that always takes chances on injured players going into the draft because when you draft it that high, the player you draft that high is gonna play day one, period. Mm -hmm. And you know, we took a chance on 
Stingley, who had injury concerns going into the draft. You took a chance on Mitchie, who had injury concerns going into the draft. You t- uh, you had my boy Nico Wolverine. He was hurt a lot, even though he's Mitchie he had cancer. I mean, no, that came after we drafted him. He was coming off a toe in ACL. Uh, Damn. I've, seen, I've seen some mock drafts where the running back from UT, uh, Jordan Brooks. Hey, y'all wild for that one. I, I had to let the smoke clear, but they didn't say Mitchie was going on camps. Mitchie <laughs> was yeah, trying to tell you, bro. Hold up, man. He wasn't I would try to, I would, I would try to beat, say too much on about me. This nigga was crazy, though. Yeah, he <laughs> did, did bro. He did. Both of y'all saying, like, that when he did come, uh, uh, when he came from out of the uh, when we drafted him, he wasn't gonna be that. It was a uh, um, what they call that like it was a chance he probably was gonna be ready for training camp because yeah. it's me, yeah. I see yeah. But those were, I can't say this though, I'm gonna give Nick his props. Those were some gambles that I probably would have took with those players specifically, Mitchie and Stingley. It just so happened that what hurts though, what stings a little bit, pun intended, what stings a little bit is that it actually happened. Like I didn't see yeah. players for real that get uh, picked up and they be like, "Oh man, this knee, his knee ain't this, his knee ain't that." Get in the NFL and don't get hurt not one time. Not one. I seen it. I didn't seen that happen. So. When that happened with Sting, I was like, ooh. And then, like, last year, I ain't going to lie, last year really hurt because, like yeah. I said, I just thought the first that was his first year fluke when it happened then. But then when they say that it happened on the last play of practice, mm. bro, that he had to miss by six, seven games that was, that hurt, bro, because it's like, mm-hmm. hold on, man. that one, You mean to tell me if y'all ain't let him do that one last play, man, we'd have been seeing this guy out here? And so – but but I will say this: He stayed healthy and balled out for the rest of the season when he came. Yeah, he back. Did. So he did. And I think that was like week eight or uh, week nine what, that he came back. But either way, when he came back, whatever they did to him, whatever they started to do to him in the training room, they need to continue to do that to him, man. He, he, <laughs> he, like they need to keep that man on the field, bro. Like it's it's yeah. it's it's so important to keep Stingley on that field, bro. Because you see how we sitting up here worried about who the next corner gonna be across from. Him. Okay, so look, y'all, I'm finna go ahead and do it. I'm finna do the doom, 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 doom. Texans on the clock. Forty-four pick. Who we picking? I'm forty-six pick. Who we picking, Pat? And I'm going with you first. Adrian Cooper from AML. Adrian Cooper, Adrian Cooper from A and M, the linebacker. I agree. I'll agree. I okay, super so, agree. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm ten toes down. So y'all both going Adrian Cooper linebacker first it, pick, right? My head, to hit, my head to hit the roof. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, I don't know then because y'all saying that I was gonna go safety with the first pick. I don't no, think I'm saying I, safety with the first. Oh, oh, you saying the first pick? Yeah, the first one we get. Oh, dun, dun, no, dun, dun, you one heard me. Get, I thought you were saying a second, second pick. I thought you were saying a second because, you know, we got two second rounders. Um, no, I'm saying the the, our pick. first pick. Our pick. first pick should be a safety, I think, or a corner. And second, yeah. I would say, is what's the name. So, basically, I'm saying this. Both second rounders should be defense. They're okay. Gonna, they're going to be. See, Cooper's not going to be there when we pick. I want to say, is it 59, I believe? Uh, yeah, it's 59. The first one's 42, and the next one's 59. Cooper mm-hmm. won't. Shout out to GG. Cooper would not be there at 59. But a, safe, a safety, the one I was telling you guys about the kitchens from the U, he'll be there. I so go Cooper be. first, then get kitchens? I, I agree with that Um, with that 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 uh well, that theory. I guess so. Because yeah. it makes it to well, like he said, because he might not be there after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And one thing we know about Nick, right? Nick will pull some trade. draft moves. He'll move in the draft. He ain't he ain't one of them people that's like, hey, let's just stay still and pick the best player available. He will yeah. move. And okay, let's let's speak on that for a few uh, uh instances. Who y'all think somebody that, that's in this draft that's a little bit out of our range, right? That y'all think that Nick will be will would be enticed to reach for. Oh, uh... Exactly. I'm gonna let you go first, Patton. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, you receive it from UT. Oh, yeah. 
See, nah, I would. I'm paying this one, bro. We, that's why we call you the draft guard. Um, <laughs> I totally agree with that. I agree with well, that. Like, Xavier Worthy is like one of those picks that's like, I mean, right now the man holds the fastest combine forty in history. It, it's far as the field go. And I was gonna do y'all one better and say this: if we, if Nick was just gonna make a move. And it's a serious move. I was, and, and it's a receiver too. I was gonna say Marvin Harrison Jr. Teaming back up with CJ. That's way way out of reach. Okay. I know that's out of reach, but that's hold we, on, we just on. talking about moving things. Hold on. Hey, let's, let's lean into that. Let's lean into that. Hey, man, right? If you get <laughs> Marvin Harrison Jr., where in the fuck do you put Nico? No, not only that. Hold on. Before we even say that. Because, hey, it's going to be some, what they used to say when people used to be getting ready to fight, it's going to be some furniture moving up in here. So, in order to bring Marvin Harrison on to the Texans, it's going to be some furniture move. Who we, because the draft picks ain't going to do it. Somebody got to oh, well, get yeah. I, I was just saying, man, if, if it was just on, so we need to move. Because I don't see us moving up nowhere, and I don't see anybody special no. enough to make a move to go Hold do on. anything. No, we hypothetically speaking now. We saying that okay. the decision has been made to get Marvin Harrison Jr. We going to go get him. We bringing him and CJ back together. Yeah. And holy matrimony. What would what would the Texans have to give up and what player? What package? Yeah, there's no player worth trading him to. There's no we player. would have to he we would have to like damn the Texas fan for real, but come on, let's be logical now. If I mean if, the only player that that's honestly because you, you think about it, you look at our receiver corp, right? You have mm-hmm. Nico, you have Tank, you have Diggs, you have Hutch, you have Mitchie, you got goddamn route running Noah Brown, uh, you got the guy that's on Bobby Trees on the sideline watching everybody get go, go work. Would you give I mean, up two seconds and uh tank deal? No. No, nah, I, I you got to keep tank. Got to keep tank. Honestly, that's look, okay, I'm, I'm I wouldn't dare give up tank neither, but I'm just trying to nah, see yeah, where nah. I it. Nah, Dude. that's a, that was a good scenario. Okay, Dude. um, two seconds and um, digs. No, he just got here. That's crazy. Shit, well, fuck it. I, I mean, I, w- I would, I would move like that. If we can, I give up digs because Marvin Harrison got the youth, and he already Marvin got the Harrison connection. Is a double digit t- touchdown receiver from as soon as he walked. And he already got the connection with CJ. With CJ, bro, I'm talking about that's like Randy Moss and uh, I'm gonna definitely uh, Brady, give up digs for that. I, I give up digs for that. I would too. I ain't gonna lie, and I hate you to see, say it, but I'm sorry. We just gotta be God give it for God take it away. I know, but look, we gotta say though for real. That's why I said hypothetically speaking. Yeah, but, hypothetically. Because so, we know it's probably not going to happen. But to be able First to move C.J. Stroud back in with Alvin Harrison Jr., bro. He's not the best receiver in the draft. But it's not about being the best. It's just about the connection of him and C.J. Oh, wow. well, well, That's why I was. You got to stand on that. Who, who, why, yeah, who better? Why is he not the best wide receiver in this draft? Because I don't see nobody else better than him. He's not or are you just saying because he's Ohio State? No, not because he Ohio. No, that's oh, probably what Pat right. saying. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Shut, shut up, no. It's going to be all day. <laughs> okay, so put, my, put my draft cap back on, you know what I'm saying? Being unbiased here. But it's not he, not, he but is he not got Randy Moss like? Uh, maybe. He's more like his dad. He's a bigger version of his dad. He, he, that's he, live. That's he's super live. Alive, bro. <laughs> he's going to have. Is that a whole he, of fucking Hear bro. me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Just like his father. Who did he play with? Peyton, Peyton one, of yeah. great, one of the greater quarterbacks of all time. When he left Peyton, he doing the lot. CJ is one of those guys where, you know, it doesn't matter who's just a receiver. He's going to make you look good, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? And I will oh, say that. Unfortunately, that's fortunately. He's saying I mean, basically that Marvin ain't all of yeah. that. It's that CJ made him look good. If you he look was at going out this year. Not really. Not really. Because he when wasn't you trying to see this. When you got a receiver, yeah. right or wrong, was he not playing this uh, season like, yo, I'm going to the NFL next year? Yeah, of course. But look, I'm, but let's be real, though. Let's be real. When you that dog and you know you're going in the way, you're still going to be a dog. You know what I'm saying? If you look at look at UT, 
He had A.D. Mitchell, you know what I'm saying, and my boy Xavier, uh, Xavier Worthy. They had piss poor quarterback play, and they still produced, period. I got – I got a scenario, a scenario for you though, Patton, because we we all saw this. We saw Jamar Chase it out a whole year, bro. Of course, Diva. So, but look at look what he produced on in the NFL. So, Marvin yeah, Harrison Jr. probably was on the same thing. Maybe okay. I ain't gonna lie. I think he finna shock. I think I get. I'm uh, over under. I'm saying the dude gonna have about thirteen touchdowns his first. First year in the league, you think he'll have a band thousand yards? Um, depending on where he goes, depending on where he goes. If he goes to uh, Arizona, then yeah, and he he's a, with a good quarterback. But let me tell you, what you guys are missing though, the the wide receiver factory is down the street at LSU. Dog after dog after dog after dog. The best receiver right now is Neighbors. Number two, respectfully, I say Marvin Harrison uh, Jr. But Two way, two two A, two B, because I feel like Brian Thomas Jr. is just as good as him. LSU produces wide receivers every year. Like our best receivers in the league right now are from LSU. Well, like I say, that was that that was just hypothetically and speaking. You know. And you of H. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he ain't from here either, though. But I mean, it's no, still I'm H. Nine, so it is what it is. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say this. No. I'm gonna say this. Okay, yeah. So, no. uh, we will have to draft a tackle because we don't have a swing tackle on our team right now. Okay, I'm cool that's, with that. That's a very, very key and important position. We you, are, you are exactly right because when Johnson went and signed, he signed with the Ravens, right? Yeah. Uh, the the guy who we used to have on the swing, the swing left tackle. Uh, who's the swing? Uh, Charlie Heck. Oh, no, no, so Josh, Josh Johnson. No, Josh Johnson. We got a, Josh, Josh, we got a he's, look. He's, he's with the Ravens now. Yeah, and, he um, good, and, But he we did good. sign We did sign Charlie Hick, but you're right, because this morning, for some reason, and, you know, my mind just be working in a certain way, I promise I got up this morning thinking about the offensive line. Yeah. And I thought about the, the, the endurance of the offensive line, right? Yeah. And I thought about who was mostly healthy all year, who's probably – and I'm hoping that it's not. But if it if it does happen, we're going to rewind this because I'm just going by how average and, and how you mm-hmm. see how things play out. But I'm hoping that what's name can play the whole year this year uh, healthy, uh, Laramie Tunsil. Um, yeah. If, if if we have problems with him, that's where that swing tackle does come in. At we need Titus Howard come in for him a little bit. Leave Titus on the right side. I just need to stay at the right for the rest of his life. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Don't, even, hey, don't even look to the left. Don't yeah, even look, don't to even the look left. over there. Yeah, just Love keep him over there and let him do his thing. But right. Laramie, he a dog and he will play through injury. But I'm hoping that this offseason that he really getting that knee strong because we're gonna need you, big dog. And, and I hope so, that he know that that know know that this year wanna, too. Because I we wanna, need I wanna, I wanna we need the top bro. ten line, bro. Like like we were supposed to have it last year, but we need it this year. Hey, we I'm need gonna, I, wanna, I wanna look ahead in the draft past this year. Uh this year's draft is gonna be defense heavy for us. Maybe uh-huh. get an officer play here and there. But next year's draft. We're gonna have to get another left tackle at some point. That might be our number one pick next year because yeah. it's getting to the end. The way it's the time. NFL it's works, time. when it gets to the oh, end, the time two, time two years of your uh, your contract, they try to move you on anyway. They don't want to pay them. That's why they back, How old is he? they back in your contract. Thirty. That's still kind of young, bro. Fast. No, I, I think we got about it's two young, but he's already time. having wear and tear on his body. I think we got about two more years with Tunsil. And that's why I say that's that's it. It. next year we either go go. That's it, round. y'all. Now, I would round. give Tunsil. I'm gonna get okay. If, if we find a bookend left tackle next year in the draft first, first, if we keep our first round pick, mm-hmm. you find a if you find a tackle, Tunsil plays out the rest of his contract. He he will be 33 when the contract is over with. I'm pretty sure that's gonna, still young. Maybe, but at the you have to remember he's had injury after injury. His knee is always a problem every year. Constantly swelling up, has to get a drain. Like, 
He's a soldier. All I got he's some water warrior. needs, boy. I ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, I think that's the wear and tear. It's hard. Man. It's hard to find the tonsil, though, man, because I'm thinking you about all the, the Orlando tonsil. faces. I'm thinking about the yeah, Browns and shit. You know what I'm saying? That they, they they played 15, 16 years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 20 years and stuff like this. that. So I'm not. Like, but when you Trent Williams, you have a, you have a quarterback like CJ Trent Williams, I age. He can actually succeed with an average left tackle. You don't need an elite left tackle to yeah. succeed in the NFL. You know, it's a luxury. I, you got one. It's a luxury because it's yeah. important to be able to shut down the other teams. Uh, 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 uh who is the dude that plays? defensive ends? Yeah, no, but I'm talking about who is the dude that played with Cleveland? Uh, Garrett. It's it's it's, yeah. it's cool to be able to sh- not have to worry about uh, Garrett. Or he locked Garrett up. He locked. Yeah. I didn't even know Garrett was out there. Yeah, he he might talking about the, 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 the DN. He locked Garrett up. Yeah, yeah, the Garrett, the DN. I say it's okay, good. Yeah, See, when you got a Laramie Tunsil, they can yes. those type of players oh, can wipe that player off the field. It's like he it, what, yeah he eliminated him. Yeah. yeah, he was playing, but you just ain't hear his name called. So it's Tunsil good to have those, but. But do CJ need that type of elite play to be successful? No, he don't. It's a luxury. It, 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 it might not need that, but let me tell you what that's going to prevent. If we do got a tonsil like that out there at all times, it's going to be it's going to prevent a lot of concussion, a lot of injury, a lot of leg injuries, a lot of back injuries, because that's his blind side. So, I would, man, we need that, Nitty. Yeah. I, no, listen. I want not to saying he can't do it, but no, we need that. that. Just in I case you can look at this, Laramie. Are we saying, Laramie, we love you. We are we are proud to be able to say that we have you on this team. You are Outside not the, if you're not the number one left tackle, you number two. So you and Trent be fighting at one and two right there. That's all to yeah. the good. But know this we ain't nowhere in shape, form, fashion saying that we should get rid of you. But what we are saying is we are being prepared. That's why we, when he, uh, Patton first started out, he said drafting in the future because we know how the NFL works. But I mm. guarantee you, Larry, you finna win a Super Bowl with these Texans. I guarantee you. <laughs> One or two of them. You getting, so, you gonna do that? And we, I see it right now. When they pass that um, trophy to you, <clears throat> and I'm finna, I wanna end with this. I have these visions, right? These visions in my mind sometimes. I like the vision. And I didn't use the vision this at first. It used to be blurry, but now it's kind of clear. I can mm. literally see Texans players holding the Lombardi trophy and passing it around to each other on the stage. I see it, bro. I see yeah. it. I see, I see uh 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 Will Anderson kissing it, tongue kissing that motherfucker. You know how <laughs> hey, but, hey. Oh, that uh, cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for real, he lick it. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna straight lick it, bro. Yeah, I can see D'Amico hold like right now. I can see D'Amico holding it up and holding yeah, his son at him. the same time. I see it. I'm talking about, bro. I vision it. I literally see it. It's in his I wife see, holding the trophy. Gonna cry because he gonna think about his daddy. I might yeah. cry too. And then Bob was right ra- now, man. I'm gonna be like, man, Bob, the bro, football back to Houston. Man. <laughs> Hey, Dwayne Brown, hey, look, check this out, Dwayne. I know once they left, when you left the team, you started talking all that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Touch over there. No, man, you was just trying to talk bad on the team, man, and make That's the team. That's all Because at the end of the day, I don't care what they say, at the end of the day, the Texans done changed a lot of lives of our brothers and sisters over there. <laughs> so yes, it's sir. Like, Hey, I can't hate on nothing like that. But all, all I'm going to say is this, man. This show is bit off the chain. Y'all see, man, we had the draft guard in the building. And uh, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Whenever we got any kind of draft questions or y'all have any type of draft questions, man, y'all just chime in and let us know. Uh, as of right now, y'all can leave uh, comments down in there. We can go in and answer the questions on your comments. But at the same time, man, we getting these subscribers up because we are about to be able to go live. But when we go live, I promise you, this show is going to go to a whole other level because then we're going to have the whole city of Houston on here and we're going to yeah. be asking questions and we're going to be answering y'all questions. And y'all, like I say, y'all going to be able to, I'm going to send the link out to a few special people. They're going to be able to pop up here and we actually get to see your face in the place and really hear what you got to say. And um, other than that, though, man, like I say, it's always good when I come on here with y'all, bro. I, I enjoy it. I look forward to it. Um, 
I, boy, I can't. Just by the fact that what's doing this is enriching my mm. season that's going to happen this year. And so I look forward to going through the season with y'all, bro, and just bantering back and forth, man. It's going to be a beautiful thing. It's, it's, I'm super excited. And, um, and super excited to have all the subscribers out there, man, that's going to be down with us. And, um, man, we can start bringing Texans players on here because, you know, we, 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 some, we, some people who got friends in high places and stuff like that, man. You know, got a little pool, got a little pool, got a little pool, you know what I'm saying? But uh, other than that, though, man, I'm I'm done. I'm gonna let my boys shut out. I mean, close out, man, and then I'm, we gonna see y'all Tuesday. Most definitely. Oh, you want me to go ahead, and go back? I'll try some music right quick, man. Oh yeah, yeah, it okay. just went right one time. My boy need to drop that. <laughs> hey, Nick, you gotta start playing that music on the outros too, man. Yeah, that's what I told him last. There we go. But look, yeah, man, it was another great show, man. Episode four. New Jersey City. We got the New Jerseys on the way. We got the dr new draft picks on the way. The new season on the way with new off-season off ac ac attributes, or uh, however you say it, additions. Hey, y'all know yeah, what I think you need to do? The next show needs to be dedicated strictly to CJ. CJ next show? Yeah, because well, I don't cool. think we gave CJ enough prop shit, bro. We got we like we talk about a lot of stuff, but I think we should just give a lot of props to that young man, bro, because he about to change everything that he he, he is the change. He's he's the well, switch. He's the switch, he's the, bro, that made all of this. And Will Anderson too. I can't take it away from Will at all, man. Yes, because sir. Have the offensive player of the year and the defensive player of the year on your team at the same time. Shout out to New York Jets. Um to have that on your team at the same time, man, it gives your team a boost. It didn't do much for the Jets, but um, for, for, <laughs> for, for, us, but for us, though, it projected us. In, I mean, it projected us into the playoffs and all of that. Yeah, man. most man, definitely. Definitely want to get those boys some props, man. But uh, it's on you, Pat. Uh, what you do, Chef? Nah, I wasn't done. I was about to say New Jersey. What it was, Nitty? What's, what's the name of this? We the New Jersey. Uh, the New Jersey draft, you know what I'm saying? This was episode four, another great show, man. And uh we got the the first two picks that we talked about, which seemed like we going defense, so y'all can bank that. You heard it here first on Texans on three. It should be a safety and a linebacker for those picks. And uh shit, I'm done, man. Champagne shook. Passing it to Patty. Hey man, thank God for another wonderful, beautiful episode. This episode four in the books. Man, all y'all come out here, man. Like and subscribe, man. Just get these numbers up, man. We can do some it. good things, dog. You know what I'm saying? I keep saying, we the new kids on the block, but we can attack over the block respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, respectfully man. Hey, we, we ain't stepping on no toes, but move your feet out the way. But it's going to come a time when you're either going to run run with us or run from us. You know what I'm saying? Just, oh, no. We're going to turn into straight up. What's the What was that uh, uh state yeah. property? Yeah, get, get, with, down, get down, down and lay down. Get down and lay down. You either going to be a guest <laughs> on our show or you ain't going to have no more show. You know what I'm saying? You did. It's just how I go, baby. That's it's how I'm going to hit y'all DMs up. I'm going to be like, hey, you want to be a guest on here? And it's like Godfather. It's a get, it's, it's one of those uh, <laughs> offers you can't refuse. Oh, you can't refuse. Refuse. <laughs> <laughs> you refuse yeah. that? Hey, I'm trying to tell you, man. But other than you that, know. though, man, if it's anything, Patty, you, you want to say? Um, Yo, man, look. As my as my cast host uh, call me the draft guard, the wing guard, pig guard, you know what I'm saying? The owner of the streets, always protected by the streets. Um, if any of my fans got a question, you know what I'm saying? Hit me on my DMs on Twitter, IG, Facebook, you know what I'm saying? On IG, get the real C money with an A. On Twitter, buy the album with an E and underscore after the, between V and buy and the album. So just get at us, man. We'll see y'all next Tuesday, episode five. The CJ edition. Hey, we're going to close it out like we always do, man. Texans on three. One, two, three. Texans. Texas. Texas. <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. <laughs>